Hello everybody and welcome to the KUKA Innovation Award Ceremony 2018. The competition has been going on for six months now, I'm, so I'm very excited to see who will be the winner of the competition. And therefore I will hand over to Dr. Bernd Liepert, the Chairman of the Innovation Award. Thank you very much, Andrea. Welcome, everybody. We are doing this now in the fifth year, which means the Innovation Award already became a brand for us, an important brand. And the result is that we are really getting tons of proposals from people all over the world which want to participate in this famous award. And it was a hell of a work for our jury to decide who the five finalists will be. And I would like to invite Daniel now to give us an update about the five finalists. Yeah, thank you, Bernd. Um, it is my honor now to introduce the five teams of the KUKA Innovation Award 2018. And the topic of this year's award was Real World Interaction Challenge. So please, uh, the first team come here. This is the Draper team from the US. And they are showing us a a fully autonomous robotic ice cream parlor here. So, Dave, maybe just a quick summary on what you are targeting there and about your application and the technology behind it. Yeah, so our application uh, lets us manipulate deformable materials. And in order to demonstrate this, we built a fully autonomous robot ice cream parlor. So every time we interact with the ice cream, uh, the ice cream surface is different. And it's a material that changes its stiffness based on its temperature. So we're able to show by, being, uh, by scooping the ice cream that we can handle not only a different shape of material, but also a different stiffness of material. And uh, we get to hand out ice cream to the guests. Yeah, thank you, Dave. Thank you for being here. Thank you for show also show competing in the award. And um, we are happy now to introduce the next team as well. So it's the team from the University of Pennsylvania and they are showing uh, an application where you can precisely pour fluids from different containers. So, Monroe, some quick words about your application for the public. So, our application is especially useful for the pharmaceutical industry. The idea is our, uh, our robot is able to manipulate containers filled with fluids that are open and pour a precise amount of fluid. So, the way we do this it, is we are able to use your containers. You put uh, fiducials on the side so that we can recognize them and then we're able to transport them to our system that can recognize any transparency of fluid. And then as it pours, it begins to learn the geometry of the container that you've asked it to pour from. And by doing this, we can take the load off of the pharmaceutical scientists in order to prepare these batch solutions, and our robot becomes an effective teammate in the laboratory environment. Our, our application has even more uh, use cases, even in the restaurant industry, but this is the first uh, application we have come across. Yeah, thank you, Monroe, and thank you to all the team for showing this impressive application, and also thank you for competing here for being one of the winners. So, thank you. The next team is the team with the application CoAware of the Italian Institute of Technology, and uh, they are showing they are showing an application which actually makes human work and in, 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 in everyday work easier. So Arash, maybe just summarize briefly your application. Sure. Thank you, Daniel. So we presented the first ergonomic and uh, dynamically reconfigurable human-robot collaboration. And our idea with the team was, uh, can, can collaborative robots actually help you to perform the task in the most healthy and prolonged way? And that's why we had to go through a lot of uh, developments. And we developed from the human tracking, object recognition, dynamic modeling of the human when the human is interacting with the external world, different loads and variations of external load. And our ergonomic module was optimizing robot behavior so that the, the behavior when you're interacting with the, with the robot is very convenient and healthy. We hope that this will impact the, the industry and the people can work in a longer periods of time and very healthy to collaborate with, with the robots. Thank you very much. Thank you, Arash, for the short explanation. Also, thank you to the team for being here and competing, showing your impressive application. The fourth application is the application of the team of the University of Alberta, and they are showing a very interesting topic in machine learning. Thanks, guys. So, so Vincent, please go ahead and summarize briefly your application. Okay, so we brought here an online learning system 
So it's a generic technology that allows us to teach a robot quickly about some unknown object. And we can also teach 3D motions on the fly. Uh, so two highlights. So on the motion part, without knowing anything about the surface, uh, the robot is able to keep contact all the time. And the second highlight is that uh, for the object learning, uh, we teach the robot in the same way we teach a human. Uh, so on about the applications, I guess, uh, so for any system you might want to quickly learn about new object or new motions, it should be able to do that. Yeah, thanks a lot. Also, thanks a lot for being here and competing with us for the Cook Innovation Award. And uh, this, has, this brings us to the final team. This is the team of the University of Stuttgart. And uh, they are targeting uh, an application from the building and more creative manufacturing industry. So, Lauren, please give us some words about your application. Uh, so, the building industry has been very, very slow to adapt uh, both robotic technologies as well as automation technologies. So, we imagined a kind of human and robot collaborative work workbench, which would enable a construction worker or a builder to interact directly on a construction site, which is very unstructured, to build a kind of large-scale architectural structure. So the important aspects of our technology was a augmented reality unit, um, interface in which the builder could live dispatch tasks to the robot with very little kind of programming knowledge uh, and preview um, information about the, the robotic system, such as Torx. And we could all connect the, that process to a live path planning with collision avoidance and have a web interface for remote visualization. Yeah, thank you very much also for you for competing here, for showing your very interesting application on the booth. And that brings me on to the next, this uh, brings me on to the next step. We will now hand back to Bert Liebert and the jury who will actually announce the winner of this year's award. Thank you very much, Daniel. I think we should give our finalists one additional applause. <laughs> they all together did an amazing job. And now, silence, please. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, we get to the announcement of the winner. But first, I would like to introduce Professor Stefano Stramnioni, member of the jury, to give us the result of the jury and perhaps to give us some explanations how they got to the result. Stefano, Thank you very much, Bernd. So, before uh, we announce the winner, I would like to introduce the jury. Here are two members of the jury. The jury was formed by uh, Professor Osama Khatib uh, from uh, director of Robotics Lab at Stanford University, Professor Alin Albushafer, Director of Robotics and Mechatronic at uh, DLR, Professor Tobia Ortmeier, uh, Director of the Institute of Mechatronic System, Leibniz University Hanover, which is represented here now by Svenja Tappen, Enrico Guizzo, Senior Editor uh, of IEEE Spectrum Magazine, uh, Dr. Rainer Bischoff, Head of the Corporate Research at KUKA, and myself, I'm Professor and Director of Robotics at the Mechatronics Lab at the University of Twente. Um, first, uh, as was already mentioned, we had to select the first, uh, the, the best five out of a, a big number of proposals and applications, which came in from really all over the world. Uh, the five best teams that you have seen have the opportunity and the honor to be here, and they did an amazing job presenting and introducing their work. And I think that to be here already among the number of applications, it's already a winning performance for all five teams. Um, one short word on the teams. It's uh, pretty international this year. It's, uh, I mean, you have now only one German team. And it's funny to say that in the German team, there is only one German person. And uh, for example, the Italian team, there's only one Italian in the team. So, it is indeed very international. Um, so to reach the conclusion, we have looked at a number of things. The first one is uh, the theme. How does the team match to the theme, which was the real world interaction challenge? Of course, the originality and quality of the developed key technology and their integration, presentation of the idea during the exhibition, 
and, uh, and a possible path to commercialization and economic impact. And now is the moment. Where are the drums? <laughs> I'm not going to say who's winning if there is no drum rolling now. <laughs> okay, jokes apart, I'm very uh, happy to announce that anonymously the choice has fallen for the team. Coeware Italy. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. I would like to give some um, reasons for, for this choice. I think, yeah, like that. All right. So for, just to be clear, the, the application was entitled uh, Robots Adapting to Task Variations and Human States to Promote Ergonomic Human-Robot Collaboration. It perfectly matches the theme, as indicated before, real-world interaction. By developing an add-on solution to the delivered KUKA Flex Fellow with the LBR EVA, and that monitors in real time the dynamically changing states and ergonomic factors during human-robot collaborative tasks and automatically adapts the robot's motion to facilitate ergonomic human postures in collaborative task execution. The idea is original and it is imaginable that it can be applied to production lines. It's very relevant for the development of robotics in which robots and humans interact in many different ways, possibly saving billions of euros in health care for workers. The presentation during the exhibition were persuading from the very first day, showed the complete finalized concept very robustly and convincingly. Finally, the jury would like to congratulate again all finalists for the great performance and commitment, and especially, of course, the winning team. Thank you very much. You. Eh? Yes. Bernd, please. I think the money is the important part, but we have a trophy on the backside for the for the winner. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. You should put it on your table for the team and continue working in the way you did for the famous presentation. Thank you very much. Okay, stay here. Then I would like to invite all the other finalists coming back to stage wow. to get their <laughs> trophy. Thank you, thank you. Thank Very good, guys. <laughs> Please, uh, once again, give our finalists an applause. And to be honest, we have five winners. One winner is a little bit better than the other winners, but all winners, thank you very much for the work. Hopefully, you are continuing becoming an 
alumni of our group of finalists from the last uh, five years. And I would like to invite everybody to join us again next year in 2019 when we announce the winner of the new challenge from 2018-19, the challenge Healthy Living. Thank you very much and see you again. Have a nice day.